I'm at the Camper Caravan Show in Warsaw, or Nadazhin, which is near Warsaw. Um, I want to actually show you this van here quite quickly. The, uh, the Sky Dancer, it's a one off. We believe it to be the world's first uh, Cabriolet motorhome. It's on the basis of a Mercedes Atego. It has been done to a large extent, well, completely, as a hobby. Now, I've got to apologize for the background noises, but there are people clearing up here. So I can either do this when people are clearing up, or I can do it when it's full of people uh, around me. So this actually is probably the quietest moment I've got. Now, this was done as a hobby, but uh, there are plans to do this as a business. Maybe not on the Mercedes Atego basis, but rather on a Fiat basis and the vehicle will be somewhat smaller. I want to take you around a little bit now. This van is being lived in, which means uh, it is a little bit of, once it's a mess, I mean it's much tidier than mine is, but you'll understand what's going on. Right here we've got the, uh, uh, the, the living area, if you like, which also converts to a bed. It's been done up in this rustic style, which please the person or maybe the wife of the person who actually owns it. I, you can see I've done interviews with them. If for those of you can speak Polish or German. Uh, coming through here, we've got, got the toilet and we've got the shower. Well, the shower looks extremely domestic. The toilet is like a, um, a nautical system, the ones that you have on boats and things, where they, have a, they don't have a cassette. Uh, but they are oh, the sort of thing you have in the United States where you have a black tank and uh, so that uh, you, then you dump the it, 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 a particular point now uh, for the American uh, viewers uh, most uh, Europeans actually have um, cassettes in their motorhomes having said that in the, the big vans but vans of this size maybe cassettes aren't all that um, uh, 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 well, they are common, but uh, maybe it's half and half of ants this side. And particularly the big ones, you've got an option. How do you want your? How do you want the septic tank in your van? Right, here's the kitchen. Got a fridge below. So it's a bit dark. Uh, this is, these are. The, uh, the these are the conditions I've got to to, to film in. Uh, there's the uh, Truma uh, heater. I had one of these in my van as well. I mean, the, the, they've been on the go for I don't know 25 years, something like that, and uh, uh, they're still still as good. Uh, there we have uh, that's where the dog sleeps. Now the second bed or third, because we've got the dogs one as well. The third bed, if you like, is under the steps. The steps come up. They're held in place by these gas. Um, uh, supports and that will hold the bed, the, the, this, uh, uh, these stairs up in position, and uh, you, can, you can sleep under it. It's like on feet on the floor in a way, but uh, it's a it's a proper bed. What you can see there, it's even got a sort of little step up to it. Here we have the ex excellent. Now, how have you ever seen a sink as good as that in a motorhome? It's very deep. Look at that. It's, it's not even a domestic one. It's an, one you sort of thing you have in an outhouse or in a shed or uh, something like that. You can get all your pat pans in there should you be living in here, of course. Now let's come up to the uh, the clever bit. There's a wardrobe which is up here. Sorry, it's all clever, but this is the particular clever bit. This is the cabriolet bit. You can see the roof was taken away. A sliding glass roof was put in place it's uh, which is uh, here and that will move backwards and forwards electrically and uh, so this has been built up from the original uh, body of the van of the of the lorry four seats which were taken out of a Chrysler I think I think it was a Chrysler and so You've got plenty of two tables on either side, and you're up here, you can park it, and you can see everything which is around you. Now, here we are at the, at the show, so I'll show you around up here at the show. You know, see people are tidying up. And now I'll come down and give you a quick little walk around the outside. 
I did another film of this van at uh, Dusseldorf in 2016. You can have a look at that as well should you be interested. And so, that's, uh, there we have the details. So you can see people taking the lighting down and things like this. This is what happens at the end of a, uh, of a trade fair. And there's the back of the, there's the back of the van. So, let's now walk down to the front to get the whole thing in view. Oh, it's also available to be sold, 248,000, uh, because they want to stop uh, investing the money in other things. 248,000 water is approximately, off the top of my head, about 60,000. It needs a bit less than that, about 57,000 euros. Something along those lines. There you can see it from the front. Cologne registration, that's where Piot uh, wants it, uh, lives. And uh, that's where the van is normally kept as well but it will be at Stuttgart in 2019 and maybe it'll be again in Dusseldorf who knows so anyway I hope you found that interesting world's first cabriolet motorhome any questions put them below write down what you think uh, it burns around 17 litres to 100 kilometres um, I can't calculate that in the head, off the top of my head how many that is miles to the gallon um, but there are tables I use kilometers sorry uh, uh, kilometers sorry I use liters to 100 kilometers because um, I find that easier but uh, I also occasionally use uh, how many liter, uh, how many kilometers to the liter as well but miles to the gallon that's what I learned when I was at school and I've now forgotten it. Another thing is the, this dip problem between a British and American gallons which aren't the same. Anyway, that apart, there you have the details. Uh, I can't remember how much it weighs, but if you go to www.skydancercamper.de, I'm sure they've got the information there. In fact, the English part, I actually translated some of it. So uh, let's hopefully <laughs> it's, it is there. Right, anyway, so uh, this is me in Nadajin near Warsaw signing out.